Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daniel VR, investigative journalist. Today we're going to be going over one of Deep Woken's most infamous players of all time. His name is Rom. We will be discussing who he was and what became of him. To understand the story of Rom, one must first journey back to the beginning of Deep Woken. See, when many content creators, including myself, were growing our channels through PvP-oriented content, Rom focused heavily on the PvE side of things, as many of you may know. PvE isn't the main focus of a lot of the community. So for Rom to be making these informational videos about how to get to certain islands, how to fight these mobs, how to get this armor, these items, he blew up. I mean, he was an incredible help to so many people in the community. He would often upload build showcases like best PvE build, as well as general suggestions to the game. Because of his vast knowledge of the game, of the mobs, of the areas, of the items, he often was in contact with the Deepwoken Wiki owners. Odds are, if you go to the Deepwoken Wiki and you click on one of the older pages, such as Arisia or Etrus, it may have had information and screenshots provided by Rom. He may have even written the article himself. See, he was very influential in the community, and for a long while, he was in great standing with the developers and the staff. One of Rom's greatest contributions to the Deepwoken community and the game itself was him spearheading the front on ban reform. For those of you that were not around in the first few months of Deepwoken's lifestyle, or lifespan, I should say, apologies, if you were banned from the game, there was really no hope for you. See, if you received a game ban, you would also receive a Discord ban. There was no way to appeal. It was just done. Rom made the argument that this wasn't a fair system. The only way if you were able to get unbanned in the event of a false ban or an AA gun tagging you for no reason was if you knew a mod. You had to have already had previous connections with the staff. And he made the valiant argument that that wasn't fair. That wasn't a good system as it is it's prone to favoritism. It's prone to corruption. From what I understand, this began to form the cracks between Rom and a few members of the staff who felt that this was a very pretentious movement that he had created because a lot of the different ban appeals and ban denies that had already been carried out were sort of given another look. A lot of people got this idea of like, oh, well, the mods just deny people they don't like, but they'll always unban and restore their friends, a sentiment which continues to this day. Unfortunately, Rom wasn't always this, um, should I say, good guy, this influential member of the community. The beginning of the end started shortly after the very first Lightborn tournament in which Rom himself received Lightborn, becoming the first of three Lightborns in the game, alongside Agamatsu and Nano Prodigy. In February of 2022, or I apologize, 2023. Rom was caught up in a massive controversy. Multiple people came forward stating that he had groomed them and ERP'd them knowing that they were under the age of 16. Now, Rom made multiple, should I say, responses to these claims, multiple responses to these documents, but none of them really stuck. None of them really cleared his name the way that he wanted or the way he claimed they did. Ultimately, from what I remember, his response came down to, yeah, I was ERPing and sexting children on a children's game, but I just assumed they were 18. And when I found out they weren't 18, I stopped. So I'm weird and I'm a degenerate, but it's not illegal. You know, legality does not equate to morality. So for a lot of people, this was just a poor attempt to save himself. Allegedly, there was information, there were screenshots that the mod staff themselves held onto that never made it to the public, which solidified the decision to completely remove him from the community. He was stripped of his Lightborn, he was banned from the game, banned from the Discord, and would then be subsequently chase banned any time he was found on an account playing Deepwoken. This was thought to be the end. You know, this is the end of Rom. There's no way he comes back from this. A lot of people just sort of said, all right. You know, that's, I can't believe this happened, but that's the end of it. Just a few months later, on April 15th, Rom dropped two videos, almost two hours in length total, which was a massive expose on the Deep Woken staff. 
multiple different moderators were removed from the game entirely. Rom had exposed them for being groomers, for being pedophiles. Those were just the main three or four that themselves were banned and removed for being groomers or for being pedophiles. Almost half a dozen more members of the staff silently resigned when it was realized that they knew this was happening. Observers and players such as Kit Mars and his friends who just vanished from the game. They were caught out. They were shown to be pedophiles. They were exposed. It was over. And as people dug deeper, they realized, wait a minute. These friends of his, these other moderators, these other members of the staff, they knew. They knew what he was doing. Because they had talked about it before. They had quote-unquote reprimanded him and said, you shouldn't be doing that. But no one ever came forward and no one ever told the proper people. This caused an uproar in the community. The Deep Woken Discord, the actual servers, the channels, they had to be locked for multiple days because if anyone was allowed to type in there, it would have been mayhem. <sighs> Horror TM, the head mod, put out an official statement, sort of an apology. He brought about mod reform. And for many people, this was, you know, the turning point. Never had they seen a scandal this bad in Deep Woken's history. I had been on the platform for multiple years, and this was by far the worst scandal I had ever seen myself. Because it wasn't just one or two people. It was about a dozen people that were either groomers or hid groomers. They didn't tell people. They defended groomers. A dozen people in the staff. This, this was a complete blowout. And he sort of just faded out from there. You know, he dropped these videos and then he just disappeared again. A few months later, after his expose, Nano Prodigy, a massive content creator, was banned from the game for his own sort of quote-unquote scandal. And Rom resurfaced again to make a video about Nano's situation. To, to sort of, to shift the blame almost. It, to many people, what Rom did was try to drag Nano down to pull himself up. He sort of came back after months of inactivity to say, look how bad Nano is. You, I'm not that bad. You guys were unfair to me. Why are you defending Nano? You didn't defend me. It was an incredibly pathetic attempt to just to tear down Nano Prodigy to pick himself up. From there, Rom quote unquote accidentally deleted his channel and completely vanished. That was the last anyone had seen from him. I'm sure he still exists in some capacity with his friends. But I can't entirely blame the guy for not wanting to stay in the community or on the internet whatsoever. While what he did is unacceptable, the backlash was unimaginable. Midway through his initial controversy, he ended up being doxxed. And this led to him losing his job in real life and being kicked out from his childhood home. Be I, I mean, this is actually crazy to even say he was disowned by his own mother because of what had happened on Deep Woken, because of what happened during this controversy. So I can't fault him for not being on the internet at all. I don't know what he's up to now. I'm not sure anyone really does. We're coming up now in almost a year since Rom has been gone. And you can't help but wonder, what if he comes back? 